Good afternoon, everyone. I have to tell you that I am glad to stand before you today. I want to thank everyone for coming here on such short notice, but when there are 500,000 children and their families involved, this news touches every Angelino. Now, I know media have been asking me for several days about details about what's going on, but I've been involved in the negotiations over the years, many negotiations, and let me tell you, grandstanding and speaking publicly when things are being hashed out does not benefit anyone. I've been working with my two colleagues from the beginning and from the last four days across the bridge in City Hall East, SEIU, Local 99, Executive Director, Max Arias, LAUSD Superintendent, Alberto Cavallo, and myself have been in and out of conference rooms and on the phone <laughs> to find common ground to help tens of thousands of workers and to do what's right for LA's children and their families. Well, we've done it. And I want to thank Executive Director Max Arias and Superintendent Cavallo for coming together to put our families first. To the 500,000 students of LAUSD and their families, I am so pleased to say that we have reached an agreement. So school will continue to be in session, and that goes also for my grandson, an LAUSD student. As mayor, I have no formal authority over the schools, but that will never stop me when it comes to fighting for our children and their families. And the fact of the matter is, the majority of SEIU 99 workers don't just work in our schools, they are LAUSD parents as well. And today, for too many hardworking people, working full time is just too hard to put a roof over their heads and put food on the table. This is about the high cost of living in Los Angeles. Los Angeles, as everybody knows, has become virtually unaffordable. The urgent need to grow opportunity and make housing more affordable and create a sustainable future for every LA family is the number one issue. And this is also about decades, decades of underinvestment in our schools. We must all come together to support LA public schools, which are the most powerful determinant of our city's future. So I am grateful that we were able to find an agreement to move forward today. Executive Director Arias and Superintendent Cavallo stepped up in such a big way, and I am hopeful that this is the beginning of a new relationship that will lead to a stronger LAUSD and a better future for its workers and students in the years ahead.